The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. A couple of announcements. Uh, on Monday, we're going to have Bill Koval of uh, Trading Analytics will be on, and he's always done a great job for us. He's got a really neat service for trading that's done incredibly well. And then on Wednesday, we will have Norman I call it to the minute Winsky will be our guest. He'll come on Tuesday to give us the key times to look at, and then we'll put him on the coals like we do every time we meet him. That'll be right into that uh, big new moon, I believe, that we have coming in next week on Wednesday, as I recall. Uh, the first chart we posted here, of course, is the DAX, but the one that's the most interesting, folks, is the next one, and that is the, the FTSE. If you remember, we made a... Uh, big top up there around that 7800 and we broke and then came back up a little bit but look at that beautiful three drive to a top pattern uh, this is a 30 minute chart so it covers several days but it's a perfectly symmetrical three drive pattern just as nice as possibly could be and then you have a nice ABCD also just pretty much spot on uh, coming down and now we're having a little bit of a bounce equal to the last one we had on the BC so these patterns work on a lot of different areas and that's the main thing I wanted to share with you uh, this is this this uh, it comes from one of my uh, one of my students he happens to be of Italian descent he also happens to be a sculptor and folks he he made this this is the uh, the scale or the uh, what do you call it the uh, uh, diagram that he used but he he had a granite clock it's absolutely a beautiful granite clock, all hand etched with these patterns built into it. And I have it hanging on my wall here in Tucson, Arizona. But it is absolutely, all of that is hand etched. You wouldn't believe it. It's just absolutely incredible how cool it is. What I'll do is when I get a chance, I'll uh, I'll take a picture of it and show it to you so you can see it. But it's uh, it's it's really quite nice. And the good part about that clock is, even when it's wrong, it's still right twice a day. But these are the patterns that we look at. There's others, of course, but those are the main ones that we focus on. And that will, that's what we try to do here at TFNN, give you a few ideas of what's going on. And I have one of those ideas for us today, folks. Last two days, we've been waiting for this to happen, and we, is, we are here right now. This is the uh, September T bonds. Uh, this is the, you know, the, the, the lead contract now. And you'll notice that we are completing another ABCD pattern down here at the price of 142.13. And that's been the low of the day so far, I believe. So that pattern should be completed. And right at the 50% retracement, we're down six days from the high. That should be it if it's going to be bullish. So that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at. Hopefully, we'll be able to have Shane Smolian on one of these days. He's very, very busy. But, gosh, I get so many requests to have him on. And, Shane, if you're listening, buddy, we want you on. So try to break free and get away from that parole officer and sneak into our show once in a while if you get a chance. Uh, I know uh, he's uh, he's very, very busy. But, anyway, let's move on to take – watch those September bonds, folks, because this this is a bearish market. We should get a rally on this. We're down uh, five, uh, four handles from the high, so we should get a two-and-a-half handle uh, rally back. Uh, so we'll be watching that one very, very closely, too. And I think that's another one. But folks, I, I wanted to share with you uh, something that I, I, I believe is, is very, very important here. And, and I just want to give it to you right, uh, right from the old holster out of the old tombstone OK Corral. If you'll notice here on this... Uh, this uh, NASDAQ composite, this is the big composite, folks. The big composite made a new high. We took out that March high yesterday, but what I wanted to show you is if you look at those two areas where I have gap ups, 
When you see a market gap above these ratios, like the first one is the 78% level, the second one is, of course, the 1.618 level, you do not want to stand in front of that, even if it's just for a day, because that usually means it's getting ready to really run. So these gaps are danger signals, and you must respect them, just like you must respect the wide range or long long tailing bars either up or down you have to respect those those are danger signals in technical analysis those are unknowns you know there's maybe been a change in the uh, continuity of thought or whatever you want to say but that's it uh, what's that curly <laughs> you guys are pretty funny david that's fit it was that curly bill curtis was that was his name uh, i can't remember the last name of the of the uh, the outlaw, what was they were they called the raiders, the outlaws? What were those guys called in Tombstone? I can't remember. I think they were called uh, the riders. Maybe that's what it was. But anyway, if you ever get to Tombstone, it's just a really small city. And back in 1886, um, Tombstone was bigger than Los Angeles. Yeah, they were called the regulators. I think it was the ones of the GDPRs, the first one of the data processing. Um, uh, regulation board or whatever it is but anyway uh, if you ever get to tucson the most important thing to see is the the uh, uh, boot hill which is the cemetery it's actually a jewish cemetery and uh, it is really a cool place the tombstones there you, you should go online and take a look at them because they're really something to look at my favorite is uh, here lies lester moore shot four times with a 44 no less no more. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of them there that you'd really get a, but this was different. There were 36,000 people living in Tombstone, Arizona back in 1886. 26,000 of them were miners. They were mining silver. When the silver mines uh, went out, uh, everybody disappeared, and uh, they most of them, you know, went over to uh, California. Uh, Tucson was founded in 1865, uh, pretty much the same time. I believe that uh, uh, maybe I think I don't think a two, uh, I don't think Los Angeles was founded until about 1883. I'm not even sure, but uh, I'd have to double check that one. Anyway, we'll see what's going on. But it's a really good Western memorabilia if you ever get to that point. If you ever come out to visit me, I'll arrange uh, to go over and see Rex Sales, the, the world-famous cowboy in the Cowboy Hall of Fame. He's got the most incredible gun and western memorabilia collection you've ever seen in your life with Remingtons and all the incredible stuff that he has. It's really amazing. One second, please. One other piece of announcement. I will be traveling tomorrow, so if you want to be in the market, be either long or short, because it'll be a big move. They never move big without me traveling, so someone will take my place tomorrow. I believe I'll be back in the show on Friday. Uh, we'll have to take a you know quick look at that. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to cover here, I covered the bonds, I covered the thing about the patterns, and I wanted to cover, oh, I wanted to show you a failed pattern here, folks. This is one that we were looking at last night. We had this big run in the Canadian dollar. We got right up to that ABCD short level. We had a big break, stopped right at the 78% and 50% retracement. The problem was it stayed there all night and didn't go anywhere. When this was happening, one of the things that I sent out was is to make sure that uh, you know, if you're in this thing and you know it hasn't moved that far, the chances are this pattern is not working. Uh, if you had done it, you would have basically been break even or lose very small. But we're all the way down to 20. We broke all the way down to the 78 percent level. We're down to 128.60 already. So you can't stand in front of these folks. When they fail, you got to get out of the way. You don't want to try to catch a falling knife. Uh, wait till it gets in the ground and pick it up. 877-927-66. Four, eight. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan 
Hogan's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the euro. This is the interday chart, you know, usually 30-minute chart going back over the last few days because we had a really uh, bias today, uh, this coming week, because of the fact that the, the, the dollar index had that uh, eight-week rally with a doji closing in the lower part of that range on Friday. That gave a possibility of the euro rallying this week, and that's exactly what we've had. Now, as you can see from this chart that I've just posted, we've completed – you know, the ABCD pattern up here at this 117.80 uh, level. And if we get any, abo any above that, that means it's going to start to accelerate. So we need to sort of pay attention to that. I wanted to go back to that pattern uh, thing that from the clock from uh, from Al that uh, he gave me as a gift. That That's only part of trading, folks. The real important part of trading is the money management and the mental part. If I could share with you two of the things that I think are the best thing that you could ever use. If you decide that you don't want to use stops, that's okay. That's a decision. A lot of people are really good at doing that. But you have to have a fail-safe system in order to protect you from these runaway moves. So one of the things that I used to use many years ago because I had you know, traded at Drexel for six years with a great deal of success, and when I got to Chicago, uh, the first person uh, that I had met was Barry Lind from Lind Waldock because we had cleared all of our Merck business at uh, uh, Drexel through him. And so he knew that we had given him a great deal of business. He treated me incredibly well. And he asked me, you know, what he could do to make my stay in Chicago, you know, more fun and profitable because he knew I was there just for a short period of time. I ended up being several years, but I enjoyed it. Anyway, I told him, I said, if you would make it that if I have a position on and it's losing at the end of the third day, if you'll just take me out 
on the opening of the fourth day. You know, we didn't have 24-hour markets, so he said, I can do that. During that period of time that I was there, I think it happened about four or five times, and each time the runner would come up to me and says, you've got a um, or you've got an order to get out of the market. Do you want to take it out, or do you want us to take it out? And I said, you take it out, because if you'll do that, uh, you know, you're protecting yourself against yourself, because the worst thing most people do is they have a loss after three days, and what they do is they will, uh, you know, they'll, they'll add to the losing position. What when you're doing that, you're doing a, uh, you're doing yourself a great disservice. First of all, you're wrong on your analysis. That's one thing. And then the second thing you're doing is you're increasing your exposure, which is the worst thing you can do. So get out of that position after the third day. Look at first, it'll clear your mind. It'll get you onto something else that you'll be able to to see. I remember. Uh, well, I've told these stories so many times before, but I guess they're worth hearing. One of my favorite stories was a gentleman that was in T-bills. He fought that T-bill market for about three years with me, and he'd, he'd gave, a, I, I don't remember, it was a lot of money, several th several hundred thousand dollars he had lost. He was worth a lot of money, so there was not a lot of money to him. Then one day he came in, he brought in a big check, and he reversed his whole position. And by golly, in the next six or seven months, he made all of his money back and did quite a bit. So that's the main thing. We'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens. Anyway, the um, the Lynn Waldock, Jack Waldock, that's uh, whose seat I bought when I was in Chicago. That was he's a hog farmer there in uh, in Ohio, a really nice guy. That was Barry Lynn's uh, mentor, and uh, it was really uh, really cool. But uh, anyway, Barry uh, was killed actually about four years ago over in Palm Springs. He had retired there. His son was opening a beautiful restaurant. And he was going into the restaurant business. Uh, he still had a little bit of trading going on. But he was helping a, a, a lady uh, fix a flat tire there on, um, uh, what's the name of that street? Oh, boy, I can't remember. Palm Springs Drive. And uh, a drunk driver from, um, from a foreign country came up and hit him, and he was killed instantly. But a young man, we were at the same age, a really super guy. I, I never met anybody in Chicago that ever said anything bad about him. He was extremely fair and just a really nice guy. But uh, we lose a lot of people that way. In fact, we lost um, Amos Hostetler in an uh, auto accident back in January the 28th of 1975, I believe. Anyway, uh, those the way it goes. You never know when that number comes up on the old roulette wheel of life, folks. All right, let's get back to some of these other markets that we want to cover folks there's a couple of big there's a couple of big moves coming let me just let me just show you one that has already started that we we focused on our newsletter last week and that is the copper look at this copper for whom the bell tolls david it tolls for thee wasn't that um Ernest Hemingway? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, you'll notice here that we're up to the 78% level, but look at the thrust in this move from the $3 barrel level, $3 barrel, $3 a pound level in copper. That was exactly 301 was that price. That was a double 61% retracement. I actually hit it three times. We made a slightly lower low by about a half a, a dollar a pound uh, in May. <coughs> And then away we've gone. If this is an ABCD pattern, folks, it's going to take copper up another 25 cents. But the fact that it's coming up here so so fast is a very, very powerful thing. Remember, that's one of the danger signals that we see. Now, there's a couple other markets that are acting the same way. Let me just show you one right here. This is platinum. Just take a look at platinum. We made that big bottom in platinum. Now, this is the half-hour chart. We completed the double ABCD pattern down here yesterday at the 61% retracement. We've already rallied you know, $14 up to the 78%. All we need now is a little bit of a push, and we're going to be off to the races. And if we take a look at the silver, since we're talking about Tombstone, Arizona, and the old silver mines, silver is acting very good, too. You know, that's the main thing. We'll see what's going on. And that's it. Well, Dudette, you're right. Dr. Copper is right. We could see 3,200, 3,300, or 3,400 on the ES. You don't know. Uh, you do one thing at a time. That's all you can do. That's the main thing that you want to treat. What's going on? Yeah, that was uh, Ernest Hemingway that wrote that. Uh, very, he had a very, um, very, uh, what do you call it, tragic life. And he, you know, his both of his granddaughters um, didn't end well. But anyway, that's the name of a game. Let's move on and see what's going to see what's happening. Uh, I would step aside and join the view from up there at 3,200. I would too. If it gets there, it's not going to do it without retracements. That's the main thing. There will be one or two 
along the way. What I'm concerned about, if it is going to get there, it's going to have to do it with the banking index. And unless this banking index gets going, it does not look that good. Remember, when you're looking at these stocks, you're looking at the Dow stocks, which is about 30 stocks. You're looking at the NASDAQ, which is about uh, 25 stocks. And you're looking at the NASDAQ composite, which is probably 300 stocks. That's about four or 500 stocks, including the ones in the S&P that are making this whole thing go of 8,000 stocks. So main, main sure that it's going, you know, uh, what's going on. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, do, I know Jack Swagger quite well, yes, but uh, I, I don't... Uh, um, yeah, I, I know. I remember the book on the market wizards. I, I I didn't want to be in that book. I, I was uh, I was interviewed by him. I enjoyed it, but I asked not to be in it. I shouldn't have been in it probably because I'm not a wizard like those other guys. But uh, I thought it would be like being on Time Magazine actually because I was going through a really hot period at that time, and I was afraid that if I got in there, it would make it a little different. I I really don't like notoriety, and I don't deserve any notoriety. The reason why I write the books is because I have a lot of time on my hands because I don't look at the monitors all the time. That's why I wrote the books because I knew people would be interested in some of the stuff that Twentyman and I and Ruth Miller, you know, did in the markets. And some other people helped me along the way. Bryce Gilmore, uh, Jack, um, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of guys. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll be back. Right? 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, uh, I've been, been asked to uh, relate the story of how I met Tom O'Brien, and it was in 2002, February. It was right after uh, uh, the 9-11. We were having the money show, and it was uh, it was basically, uh, you know, there in, in uh, New York at the uh, Marriott, Marriott Marquis, and it was... Uh, it was really a fun time. Hold on a second, folks. My uh, my beepers are going off like nuts again. Let me see what we got going on here. It is uh, oh good. The Australian dollar is hitting a major target uh, up here at this uh, seventy six sixty nine level. So kind of pay attention to that. But anyway, we're meeting. I've got to turn this off. Or it's going to drive me nuts. Bear with me one second, please. But we were there in uh, New York. And uh, there were some very famous people there that, to bring in the crowd because they were afraid there was not going to be uh, anybody uh, there in the uh, building because of the 911 thing. It ended up being the biggest crowd they ever had. And what happened was uh, the people that were the invited guests there, the highlights were the hockey players, uh, three of them from the 1980 Olympic team that happened to be very good friends of myself and Mark Douglas. And um, they were giving it, he was, um, Tom was giving a talk and he was uh, talking about, uh, I believe, something about being the expert on Fibonacci. And one of the boys raised their hand and said, uh, you better go talk to the guy down on aisle six. He said, he'll probably give you, a, well, whatever he said anyway. So uh, Tom came over and introduced himself and he said, you know, these guys, I said, oh yeah, I said, they're, they're my buddies. And anyway, we started chatting and one thing led to another. Then I became a guest on his show occasionally. Uh, on TFNN, and then after, uh, I think Tom, oh, I can't remember what was, oh my, when after Ed passed away uh, on the commodity show, uh, Tom asked me to take that over. That was in 07, and I've been doing it ever since, and I've really enjoyed it. The people that I've met have just been amazing. The most amazing thing is the fact that when I was in Kiev uh, a year ago, two years ago in May, with Tom Hugard at a big Forex convention, we were giving a live trading exhibition, and I had people come up and ask to take selfies. Uh, because they listen to TFNN from Kiev, Ukraine. Give me a break. You know, there must be people all over the world listening to this stuff. Anyway, that's the way it goes. Move on to the next thing that we have going on here, and let's take a look at the – we looked at the silver, and we looked at the copper. They look very, very bullish, as you can see, and I think the yellow metal, the gold, is right behind them, folks. All I'm waiting for is to see it raise its head above uh, this 13 12, 13, 15, 13, 20, and I'm going to be there like old Ernie did, and that's el que hora de hora es conos dos manos. I will be buying it with both hands, but until that happens, we have to uh, wait and see if it's going to do that. The only reason I'm not buying it here, and I, I trade it all the time off the shorter term patterns, but the main thing is, is that I like to see um, the market thrust out here because it hasn't thrusted yet and it really should have if that cycle that we had down there at 1285 was really bullish that means we still have that 1260 and 12 uh, 10 outstanding patterns and i'm i'm a little concerned about that but we'll have to wait and see i'm actually spending more time uh these last uh, three or four days getting ready for what i see getting ready to happen in beans i spend a lot of time with rich anderson and Simon only and boy this bean move and 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 corn and and wheat is really setting up nice folks uh if you get the newsletter pay really close attention to it this week because we've got this full moon new moon coming in here on the 13th and this might be the last train to gun hill because uh th this might be it because we had the big pull off pull back after the weather broke and if we get if we get november soybeans above 1066 and you're not long uh you, you know that that's going to be a mistake because those things could really run as simon only mentioned you know m most of these farmers have already hedged their crops up there at 1060 in the November beans because that was a great price for them to make money. Now, if they get above there, you know, they're still making money because they put their money in the bank and everything, but the speculators are the ones that are going to take the rest of it the way up because they become farmers at that price, and uh, they don't have to hedge anything. They can put the old, you know, what they call the Texas hedge on, go long the futures and long the cash. So um, that's what be watching here if we get above that but we haven't done that yet and we'll see if it does but i'm trying to put a plan together so that we do some adding contracts i i think that's a great way sometimes you know to really press the metal 
to the metal when you when you see something and if it works it's great but if it's wrong you're going to lose a little but the risk reward on it would be really big if it does happen it, it hasn't happened yet but if it does get about that i'll just show it to you one more time just to give you an idea of what it would look like if in fact we get to that level just give me a second here to get this november bean contract up here so you can take a quick look at it because if we get above there uh, we'll be looking at something really dramatic, I believe. But remember, beans got as high as $18 a, a bushel uh, about three years ago, and they have an inelastic demand. You know, they that doesn't make any difference what the price of soybeans is. They have to use it. So that's the key thing, you know, to keep in mind as we're uh, as we're looking at uh, some of these things unfolding here this morning. But that hasn't happened yet. Maybe it won't. But if it does, we want to be uh, we want to be ready for it. If it in fact does it, we're seeing the same things in wheat. And wheat's actually uh, holding on even better um, recently because we pulled back right to that last uh, key support level down here uh, at that. Uh, just bring this up so you can take a look at it. The bonds, I covered those. Uh, I'll put that bond up again. But the bonds are the uh, here we are in the bonds. This is the moment of truth in the bonds. It's right here. Uh, if it, uh, hold on, no, I want to do this. I want to make you happy. Don't yell at me. I'm just doing it as fast as I can. <laughs> okay, we we need to hold this level in the in the September bonds, and 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 I think all we're going to do here is we're going to get about a point and a half rally, back up to around the the 144.42. Folks, we've been dropping open interest in these bonds the whole time. This is not a bull move. This is just a short covering rally. And we're not, we're seeing the same thing in the stock index futures either. Yesterday with that move, uh, the S&P, I know they're rolling from uh, uh, from June to September, but the open interest is still dropping. And, and the NASDAQ, which is the smallest, remember the NASDAQ has only got about 150,000 open interest. The uh, no wait, uh, the Dow Jones is about 150,000 open interest. The Nasdaq's got about uh, 250. The Russell's got about 500,000 open interest, and the uh, E-mini S&P's got about three million. You see what I mean? So that's it. No, I, I just uh, get excited about some of these markets. That's all. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what's going on. As far as the coffee market, that still looks good. You know, it's had a big move. Um, and sugar's had a really big move, too. We're waiting to buy sugar on a pullback. We were able to sell it out on that good rally. And now we're waiting for sugar to uh, back off. And uh, we're getting pretty close to it, I believe. It shouldn't be down much more. And then we'll get to that really nice buy level in sugar. But we'll cover that over the weekend as we as we look at some of these things unfolding uh, with these markets. So that's the main thing that we've got going. Oh, we've got a break coming up already. Shut the front door. I want to cover Bitcoin because Bitcoin needs to be getting moving here pretty quickly. Otherwise, we will probably be looking at something that uh, we don't want to see, and that's going below that 69.90 level, which is the 78% level. We break that, folks. Uh, we're going to be heading down. Uh, quite a bit. I'll cover a little bit more of Bitcoin when we get back from the break. This is some information from my good friend John Jameson over in the UK, and I think you'll have an interest in that. So we'll just talk about it a bit. 877 927 6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. I'll talk a little bit about Bitcoin. You can see here that we've stopped at that 78% level at that 69.90 per share. Uh, just a little bit of information. When the Bitcoin got to almost $20,000, it was being listed there at the Merck back in uh, January. At that point, that the, supposedly the value of Bitcoin was worth more than all the gold in Fort Knox. And um, supposedly our government couldn't allow that to happen. And whatever it is, we'll see. But anyway, I put the chart of the gold next because I didn't want to spend much time on Bitcoin because I know less about that than just about anything. But here's what I was looking at this morning. And we were looking for a buy here on the gold down at this 61% retracement at 1298. That was the low. And we rallied up to, you know, 303 so far. But that's a shorter term pattern. You know, it's only a 15 minute chart, but the patterns are there and they're tradable. That's a good thing. You know, a five dollar move in, in gold is a heck of a lot move than, more than a five dollar move in Microsoft that you might have to wait. Well, nowadays you only have to wait about a half hour, but that's what it used to be. But anyway, that's a shorter term pattern, much like we did when we looked at that euro pattern that was just doing the same thing. You know, one pattern right after another. That's really what we're looking at. I've had a request to look at something that we don't see very often, and that is the hog market. Someone was looking at this hog chart and said that they had some incredible patterns in the hogs. As you can see here, um, we had this big butterfly top that we had up there when, when the hogs were uh, way up about a buck 30, 130, and we came all the way down below the cost of production. Now we're in the midst of a big rally where I think we got another 20 cents to go to hogs on the upside. But that's the that's a long-term weekly chart. You don't always, you know, get to look at that. Now, if we take a look at the feeder cattle, we're seeing the same thing in feeders, but this is a daily chart in feeders. And these you know, these are tradable. The, fund, the, the hedge funds trade feeder cattle. So they're very, 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 very popular. As you can see, we had that big garley up there at that 140 level. And so if we get above the 140, or excuse me, 150 level, we get above that 150, you'll be looking at about 160 in feeders, and that'll make cattle go up because, you know, the cattle have been quite bullish with higher bottoms along the way. And that's, uh, you know, what we're watching as we see, you know, some of these things unfolding um, each day as we go through here uh, at looking at some of these things. Okay, now I want to cover, uh, let me see, I covered the hogs, I covered the cattle. Uh, let's see if I want to cover this. Uh, oh, here we go. I want to cover Google because we're at a very interesting spot in the Google. 
and I know um, here, as you can see here, uh, the, the ABCD pattern that we had in Google came down exactly at the uh, uh, ABCD pattern to the downside, and it's made an ABCD pattern to the upside up around its 11.48 level. So far, it's been to 11.45.80. I don't know if we've made a new high yet or not this morning or not. I know that Amazon has, but whether Google has or not, I'm not sure. But you see the ABCD patterns, you know, everywhere. So that's uh, the main thing that, that we're, we're starting to look at right here. Someone's brought up a question about the Treasury bonds. Uh, I don't know where they're trading right now, but they should have bottomed. Those SIP bonds should have bottomed down there at that 142 and change level. If we go much below that, it's going to get na it's going to get nasty no matter what. It's a question of whether it's going to be, you know, we'll see what's going, and then we'll go from that point. I agree with you on that. Uh, okay, that's uh, good. It's held that level so far. It needs to hold 142.10, I believe, is a number, Marshall. That was a low this morning. It really needs to hold that if it's going to be any good. It's hard to believe that we were just at 146 and change, and that's another one that we want to pay attention to because it's got a, a long term. We've seen this so many times how, how they change. Look, look what's happened to Treasury bonds, folks, since we had that big run-up because of the Italian uh, – thing that occurred you had those german bonds they went they went wacko and they're coming down quite a bit and you could see our treasury bonds didn't move nearly as much and they're coming down even faster so that's all that was was a short-term rally in the in the in the market and it, you could tell that by the open interest if you don't have new buyers coming in folks it's just a matter of time till the thing gets tired and there's nobody left that's that's what open interest is all about um Steve Brees has got some uh, inf great information on that. But, uh, you know, if prices are going up and open interest is dropping, that's short covering. And if prices are going down and open interest is dropping, uh, that's a short covering. So you've got to be careful of uh, or lots of longs leaving the market. But anyway, remember that, that you've got to have buyers coming into these things. Otherwise, it's not like X number of stocks outstanding where you've got so many outstanding shares it's not that same way you have to have a buyer and seller on each side of these things look at the open interest folks we started in january for the bitcoin and we've only got a 2900 open interest in bitcoin futures that's nothing and they went from almost well they went went from 20,000 all the way down to i believe 6,000 and that is a uh, one heck of a drop well, they haven't done anything since that time, but you got to have players coming in there. Otherwise, you're not going to get much, uh, mu not much market action. That's the way it looks to me. I think the key things to watch today, of course, is the fact that we need to keep these uh, these bonds alive here at this level of where we are. Uh, if we see a big move in gold of more than twenty dollars any one day, that's going to be the start of it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm picking $20 because we haven't had a big move more than $15 in the last several months. And if we get something bigger than that, that tells us that the shorts have finally given up. And we need to watch the open interest at that time because we need open interest to start coming in to these markets to get them moving. We're starting to see a little bit of it, but not really very much. So let's watch what happens as we we see this as it gets uh, moving here. I know that the, sometimes the... Uh, I don't know what Ken 8 is, uh, Mr. Z. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what that is, K-E-N-8. I'm not sure what that is. If you'll let me, I could comment on it. If not, I could make, a, make up something, I guess. But I don't know what that, uh, what that particular one happens to be. But we'll watch it anyway because you certainly know your stuff, Fal. We really appreciate it. Here's one to pay very close attention to, folks, because we're almost at the moment of truth. And, oh, it's in the wheat. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Yes, the wheat is ready. I, I believe that we're getting ready, and I uh, think we're going to be uh, getting ready to see this thing move. Take a look at this one, folks. This is the British pound versus the U.S. dollar. We posted this yesterday. We're almost up there, folks. We're within a a little shaver away from it. I think we're trading at around 132, 134.20. We need to get about another 30 pips up there to that double 61% retracement pattern. That would be a very, very low risk move, and then you'd be able to see uh, what's going on. That's what we want to see. That DAX uh, turned red. We thought it was going to because you had that little bit of a bounce. 
and then uh, it's starting to fade, and that's what we were expecting to see. Whether that's going to happen or not eh, remains to be seen. But uh, we're seeing a lot of a lot of things happening this week, and we'll see more and more. But remember, we're in the summer months now, so you're going to see less and less uh, players coming in. And that means your volatility is going to increase because you doesn't take much to move those things. Uh, move, you know. We'll see. Oh, that's a flying Walinda. It's W A L E N D A. Walinda was the uh, the Polish family that were the uh, ah shucks, were they a gymnast, tightrope specialist, and then one didn't quite make it, so he was named the Flying Walinda. Flying Walindas. That's it. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to talk a little bit about the U.S. dollar index because uh, we focused on that this week in the newsletter because of the fact that we had that three-drive pattern. If you look at this on the daily chart, you'll see that it was making a double top going way back into September of last year. Now, we took that out by about 10 or 15 pips, which isn't, which isn't very much. But if we look at this, of course, on the longer-term weekly chart, you'll see that we were up 10 weeks in a row without a correction. And then we had the doji pattern where we made the higher high and then closed unchanged on the day. That was showing that three drive on the daily. 
that was highly suggestive that we were going to have some type of a correction in the U.S. dollar, i.e. a rally in the euro. And we've gone from 115.10 all the way up. To, uh, we're up 260 pips right now to the 117.70 level and, and, and higher. We're at 117.90 right now. So that tells us we're going to continue going higher. What we need to do is each day you have to go in and find out what the swings are, are doing as far as how much are they re, re, retracing or how quickly are they moving higher. And that gets you to the next point of where you want to be. All you're trying to do is to be, you know, close uh, to, to, to find out what you're going to risk. But right now, this is what we're expecting. This is only the first week down after an eight-week run to the upside. So usually after eight, you're going to see a three-week correction. So this is what we're looking at, possibly, is to see a three-week rally in the euro, i.e., and if gold continues to follow the euro like it has been with correlation high, uh, high correlations, we should continue to see gold to move a little bit higher. Gold's jumped a few dollars since the show was on. It's up now. Eight dollars from the fifth point that we had down there at the twelve ninety eight level, but we really need it to get above twelve fifteen and see if it has legs, and then we'll see where it goes uh, from that level. So that's about it. Uh, we're going to be watching. Remember, there will be a someone setting in for me tomorrow. I'll be back on Friday. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!